And hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com, and here we are on the red carpet at the Ronnie Montrose Remembered event. Now, uh, we had a Sarzo in the house earlier here tonight. Now we got another one, okay? Yeah, so another one. Uh, to my right, we have uh, Robert Sarzo here, guitar player extraordinaire, and the guy with the coolest hat in The town, Voodoo Man so. hat, the Voodoo Man. <laughs> that is the cool Voodoo Man hat. Dude. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I, I, I feel blessed. I've been having a lot of fun playing with a lot of different bands, you know, since uh, the touring with Queensryche, right. uh, with Jeff Tate and my brother in the band so just got a, a group called 80 proof voodoo Stephen McGrath of Billy Idol the bass player he's playing with me mm -hmm. and uh, actually we're playing next Saturday in Corona okay. at the uh, Rockefellers cool we'll be there we're doing about a two hour set cool yeah now tell us about uh, your relationship with uh, Ronnie Montrose and his music I mean did you ever get to know Ronnie did you did you ever get to I tour to, with him well no not touring but we got to really spend a little bit of time at Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp uh -huh. And we we played on stage at the House of Blues, and he was just fantastic to hang yeah. out with. Yeah. And there's a really cool picture of my brother and I and Ronnie on stage right. at the uh, House of Blues on Sunset. Yeah, he, you know, great player. Right. Yeah, it was great to uh, to have him at the uh, camp, and uh, it's, just, it's, it's so good to be here. You Everybody know. says such good things about him. I never got the pleasure to meet him, but I mean, it's just uh, can you tell me like anything in particular, like any any anything that you might have remembered offhand? Just just as, you know, guitar tones. You know, I grew up in the '70s listening. I saw Hendrix when I was. 10 years old, I went to see Hendrick in Florida, and you know, Ronnie had that charisma, that vibe, that showmanship, and the energy of 70s, right. which is what I grew up with. Right. He was a jam player. He can improvise in the spot and just, you know, just go for it. And, you know, a lot of the young players miss that. And it is actually because there's not enough venues to be playing to work at your uh, craftsmanship. You know, when you're playing till 4 o'clock in the morning, night after night after night, and you're a teenager, you're going to master your instrument by the time you're on 1920. Right. And that's what Ronnie did. I mean, he was amazing. Yeah, he loved what he did, yeah. man, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I miss, you know, not having him around. I mean, yeah. What are you most excited about seeing tonight? I'm sorry? What are you most excited about seeing tonight? Just being part of this. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's a cool vibe, great theater, uh, great catalog of music. And uh, when Keith St. John called me and told me the tunes, uh, I listened to it and I did my homework. It's like, oh, this is cool. I grew up with this stuff. Now, what are you playing tonight? I am playing, well, the uh, finale song and um, what is the other one? Uh, now, Rock Candy. Uh, uh, what is the, oh God, my mind, I, I'm doing NAMM, so my, I've got so much material. I, just, I know. I just finished playing at my uh, go in booth. Oh, cool. And I just did a set and kids come over here. Well, I know the song. Well, we well, will we will know guitar. it once you're up there playing it. So once we'll go to it. It's, it's muscle memory. You go, there and you play it, but you do it. Yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing you up there on the stage rocking out tonight. Yeah, Thanks for talking with us here at VintageRock.com. Again, guitar Good player uh, Robert Sarzo. Here at uh, VintageRock.com, I'm Junkman, and uh, join the red carpet. And if you guys want to find me on uh, Facebook, it's Robert Sarzo in Facebook. Uh, just ask any questions, anything, and I'll answer it when I have time. <laughs>